Hey, be a squid and subscribe to my mediocrity. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Trash or Treasure featuring the Pathfinder armor set as well as the... What, what the fuck is this thing called? The, the Pathfinder Claymore? Yes, it is. Okay. So let's go ahead and just kick this off and starting with the armor set. L listen, I like this armor set. I, I think it looks cool. I think the sword is dope. I think everything about this entire set is honestly fantastic. And I, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it's fantastic. I have some choice words for the sword, but just speaking directly to the armor set or about the armor set, you get one protection on the boots, two protection on the chest piece, and one protection on the helmet. It's not the most, you know, heavy set armor that you're gonna find in the game, but y y I will say that when it comes to just being over in the hollowed marsh, this armor set is kind of good. And by kind of, I mean actually pretty damn good. It offers that decay resistance as well as just regular 13 resistance in general. And then you get the impact resistance. You also get cold weather defense, hot weather defense. That just helps with these, you know, fluctuating temperatures that happen so often in all these different areas in Enmercar, fucking uh, chairs, 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 and whatever the hell. And then Levant, like you have these places that get extremely hot or extremely cold, or there's just certain times of the day that are, you know, one or the other. And this armor set does not necessarily mitigate them so low to where you're completely unaffected, but it makes it easier to live with. So that way you don't have to necessarily, you know, oh, I got to carry my torch the whole time or, or I got to, you know, keep a campfire thing or I have to get a potion to, you know, help out with the weather. This armor set helps out in that regard. Believe it or not, the weather is a huge issue in Outward. So, you know, the biggest enemy out there is your survival when it comes to the environment like yeah sure bandits could show up but you know you got this bad boy right here to slap him in the face but you know what, what are you gonna do when fucking the sun starts beating down on your head absolutely nothing because you can't do nothing about it so just the cold weather and the hot weather defense is super nice not to mention the negativities on this armor set are not as bad as i honestly thought they were gonna be considering it's more of a heavier set armor you get plus 3% added to your stamina cost and minus 3% movement speed on the chest piece, then 2% on the boots, and then 15% mana cost, which sucks, but once again, these heavy set armors don't necessarily encourage a mana type build, but nonetheless, I mean, regardless if you're using mana or not using mana, plus 15% is not nearly as bad as plus 50. Looking at you, Kintsugi armor, that shit was annoying. Even if you wanted to do, you know, spells or whatever, you would still be able to, you know, get off like one or two, possibly even three spells before you could, you know, run out of mana, depending on your mana pool, of course. But nonetheless, this is pretty, pretty damn good. Now, the Pathfinder Claymore. This weapon hits like a truck. It's got decay damage. It's got 39 impact. And it also inflicts vulnerability, which is, ooh, Yes, absolutely. I have no complaints in that area. When it comes to damage, when it comes to the big slap, this weapon is fantastic. But that 0.9 attack speed though, why? Oh, it, it, it's so sad whenever like a weapon has everything that you really want it to have. And then it's like one, like the most important thing you care about is, is trash. Just so I can put things into perspective, this is the attack speed. It's it's fairly slow. It's like uber mega slow. Like look at that heavy hit. Like look at this shit. It is really slow. However, it hits hard as fuck. And you have this armor set, which is pretty tanky, so you can withstand some damn hits before you have any issues whatsoever. So honestly, the 0.9 though it is annoying and you're probably going to take some unnecessary hits that you really don't want to take i mean you can't deny the fact that the one negativity about this weapon is going to make it trash it's just not you know i can deal with the attack speed if i wanted to really use this weapon i i would use it especially if you want to do a sword build and you like decay damage because you know the decay poison whatever 
it, it, it does a lot. It really does a lot. And, you know, the, the 10 physical may suck, but it's still, it, like, the vulnerability is great, and the elemental damage that you get with it is fantastic. It's, it's a treasure, and I can't call it trash. So in conclusion here, boys, I'm gonna say everything is a treasure. The armor is fantastic. It offers great protections, as well as some decent resistance to uh, poison, decay, whatever. And on, on top of that, the negativities are not terrible by any degree, so has to be a treasure. And as far as the weapon goes, it may be a slow piece of shit, but this shit hits fucking hard, so I cannot deny that this is one of the better weapons in the game, especially when it comes to swords, because there's only like one really great sword that I enjoy using that's like super fast or that is like mediocrely fast. And even though I, I'm a big fan of the Zagus, you know, saw weapon, I... I'd much rather use this one just because of the elemental damage that's along with it, but yeah. So that's going to go ahead and conclude today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.